Hey everybody, it's Ryan Bruce Bugman, and I am on another adventure today. Um, <laughs> sorry about screaming, but it is pouring down rain. There's a torrential rainstorm I'm in the middle of. Um, so I pulled off the road here just to talk to you for a minute, give you an idea of what's going on today. Um, I started out the day up at Pincho State Park, uh, not doing 17 year cicadas, but this time, I was with a film crew working on a documentary about cicada killers. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on what happens there because you know what, if that turns into a collaborative thing, that is gonna be cool. Um, I'm hoping that they call me for some more consult, maybe some more manual labor on that project. Um, outside of that, I am now headed to do a beehive removal. Um, and it's important that we discuss this because when I say beehive, I'm not talking honeybees. I do not mess with honeybees. I don't ever toy around with honeybees because too many people like them and they make honey and they're people's livelihood. So I don't toy around and get involved with any kind of honeybee hive removals or swarms or any of that stuff. I, there are people way more qualified for that than me. Uh, I do fun things like, like, uh, yellow jackets and European hornets and bald face hornets, uh, those big gray beach ball size hives you see up in trees or in many cases buried in the ground. Uh, that's the kind of stuff I deal with and it's almost always eradication. In other words, I'm going to go in and I'm going to, I'm going to mass kill and I'm going to get rid of these bees, the hornets, um, the wasps, whatever it may be. And the point is these people want these things removed, gone, and out of their way. They're causing problems. They're scaring people. Sometimes they're in doorways. Sometimes they're in overhangs. Um, this one is apparently next to an electrical box. And I don't know if it's causing any real direct harm to anybody, but the customer wants it moved. And I have to go do it. So I'm taking you with me, man. We're going to uh, go play in the rain, and we're going to go wipe out a beehive today. Um, and again, I don't enjoy this because I don't really like mass killing anything. But when when a customer calls, you gotta you gotta roll, you gotta go. So that's the, that's the rule of the day right now. Um, I'm gonna run down here about 10 minutes away from hitting this this uh, customer's house, and we're going to remove what sounds like a probably a bald faced hornet hive that is in sort of a problem area that's bothering them. So they called me to come get it. That's what the job is. Stay with me, man. Either way, you know it's gonna be a ton of cool bug fun. Okay, so here's the fun part. Uh, I'm here. The rain never even reached this particular neighborhood, which is kind of a bummer, because I was hoping that this area was gonna be getting train wrecked by rain. And instead, I've got a dry beehive with a whole bunch of angry hornets. So we're gonna see what we can do here. Stay tuned.
Watch out, we've agitated them. Picking a fight with the Hornets. wipe out an entire beehive but trust me we didn't get them all that might be it man that might have got the point across we'll find out there's going to be another wave coming in now the glue is so bad that even power washing it it's not going to come off right away it's going to have to weather out for a while yeah it's just going to have to weather i mean it's just time time is what'll do it All right, guys, as you can see, managed to get two queens actually captured. I haven't checked the ground to see how many more are laying dead underneath yet. And then I've got a couple other ones. And there you go, man, another happy customer uh, and a whole bunch of unhappy bees. Uh, those are actually bald face hornets. Um, and again, guys, I don't like eradicating entire, you know, colonies of bees and hornets like that. That's not really my thing. Um, but people do not want beehives hanging off their electrical boxes and they don't like them hanging over their front doors or sitting out in a tree in front that freaks people out. And sometimes it's just easier to call for help. And that's what I do, man. A lot of people don't even know that this is a part of the, part of the business that I do the beehive removals. But again, I'm not messing with honeybees. It's, uh, it's all about everything that isn't honeybees. And whether it's yellow jackets or bald face hornets or paper wasps or whatever the case is, man, there's always a hive somewhere. Uh, sometimes it's even on horse farms. I get a lot of calls to horse farms to go take care of beehives, problem beehives that are out there. So you get it, man. Look, we are all done here and I am gonna give you guys a good day, man. Hey, let's remember, let's all be well. Be safe, and man, let's all be kind. It is still a very angry world out there. All right, take care, guys. We'll see you. Hey, man, be sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you like what's going on here and you enjoy it, then help me out. All right, thanks. I appreciate your support. Take care, guys.